Hello, Gareth here, and this is my workspace, and I love this space. But what this video is about is the importance of how you organize or lay out your materials. So I'm going to show you my layout, which I found to be really good. So here we go. So the most important thing is my paper, which is here. I have a spiral bound pad and I normally have clips here and here. Then under my pad, I have this, which helps to tilt the paper so that the paint runs down. Next, I have my box of tissues above the paper. So at any time, I can just grab a tissue really easily. Then on my left hand side, I've got scrap paper. So if I'm going to do some dry brush, first I might want to test it on this before I do it on my proper paper. Then on the right, this is how I do my bucket, rag and palette. So I've got my water bucket here, I've got my rag here and I've got my palette here. And look how easy it is. I just get my brush, I can dab it on the rag, I can get some paint, mix it up, then put it in the bucket, dab it on the rag. It's so easy to do mixing and adding water and dabbing my brush on the rag. And please use your rag. It's very, very important. And then I can go straight to the paper and do whatever I'm doing. So next, oh, and even my paints are organized. They go from warm to cool. So from like a warm yellow to cool blue. And down here, I've got a few extra colors like some white. And then over here, I've got something like bamboo green and some darkish black color. So up here, I've got my brushes and I don't have all my brushes. I just have the few that I need. I've got my spray bottle, which keeps my paint wet and workable. Then I've got here a pencil and this pen and a kneadable eraser. Then some clips. And then I don't know why I've got two tubes. I only need one. I've got some white paint here because sometimes I want the white paint direct from the tube. And I've also got this stand on which I put my reference photo or reference painting. And uh, finally, oh, and I've got a plastic cover because uh, I did used to work on the uh, dining room table and uh, I ended up like, um, well, basically there was moss growing on the table because certain a certain part of it had stayed damp for so long that it had begun to rot. So nowadays, yeah, the wife was not too happy about that, but she wasn't that bad. So I was a bit lucky there, but now I use a plastic cover. Otherwise, your wooden table is just going to rot away and possibly you're even going to get mold like I did and it might go green. And then finally, I've got this light. So um, this table is against a wall and the main light on the ceiling is behind me. So in the evening, I will, there will be like, my body will cast a shadow, which is a bit annoying. And it's also just a bit dark in this area. So by having this light, it makes it a much better space. It just makes things visible, clear. And there's no like um, shadows that make it difficult to see what I'm painting or drawing. So that's everything. I know this might be a bit of a boring kind of video, but it is really important because some of my beginner students, I don't know why, but they 
they don't seem to organize the layout of their materials and it's crucial. Everything should have a particular place, in my opinion, so that you're not, when you do your actual painting, you're not having to think about where your water tank is or where your palette is. And I'm not joking here. Some of my students, they get out three palettes and they have them in different places and they're using each one. So I think that really makes it difficult for you. Another thing they often do is have their water bucket here above the paper. And you can imagine if you've got a brush that's fully loaded with water and you move it across the paper, there's a chance it's going to drip onto the paper and spoil whatever you're doing. It's a big risk. So I strongly recommend that you find a layout that works for you and that you stick to it so that everything has its own specific place so that when you're painting, it becomes a smooth, almost like automatic thing where you don't have to think about where things are and you can just fully focus on the painting itself. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. A like and a subscribe would be much appreciated. Bye for now.